In this module, we will show you what the initializing process looks like when you use an IDIS network video recorder, or in short, an NVR. You will either go through this process upon powering on the NVR for the very first time, or after a device factory reset. What you are watching is the startup screen, and it may take some time to complete depending on the features your device may have, such as a faster processor. After the startup, the setup process will commence starting with the language selection window. From here, you will be able to select what language you want the device to be displayed in. Upon making your selection and clicking OK, another window will be shown asking if you want to enable the remote client communication. This option relates to the network client Ethernet port that is found on the back of the NVR and is used for activities such as email notifications, mobile apps, and software. By clicking no, the setup process will add network firewall rules to prevent your NVR from connecting to the internet. This will make your NVR highly secure because it is not exposed to the outside world. But it will also mean that you won't be able to use PC software or mobile apps over the internet. If you want to use those via the internet, then you would click yes instead. Next up is the admin password and recovery setup process. You'll be required to enter in a secure admin password and pick either a UPR file, email address, or both for the password recovery method. If you wanna use an email address for the password recovery method, you would enter in your desired email address and verify it. If you do not want to use an email address for the password recovery, click not use. In that instance, you will then be required to use the UPR file password recovery method instead. And by the way, UPR stands for user password recovery. How it works is like this. You will save the UPR file on a USB storage device. And whenever you need to recover the admin password, you will use this specific UPR file to allow the system to reset the password for that account. And next up is the quick setup wizard. This wizard has all the essential things you need in order to get the NVR up and running quickly. From here, you can configure the date and time, the recording method and video quality, and even your camera codecs. We won't be demonstrating the quick setup wizard here, so we will click cancel. This will now bring up the last wizard, which is the network setup wizard. With this one, you'll be able to configure your LAN, port forwarding, and FEN configurations. Just a heads up, there will be a separate module on FEN. Again, we won't be demonstrating this wizard in the module. So we click cancel, which will then prompt us with the admin login. We will log in using the admin password we have just created and the camera registration page will be shown. We will talk more about this in the camera registration module. And for a full demonstration of the wizards, you can refer to our live demonstration video that's accessible on the Dash training portal. For now, that concludes the end of this module.